All right, 3 o'clock, good to have you aboard. And I want to build off of what we just discussed in the March Madness thing. Bear with me, people. Let me, let me, let me bend your ear for a moment. I want to know if I'm alone in this or if you are on the same spiritual and emotional journey as I am. As it pertains to March Madness and as it pertains to college football, this just isn't entertaining anymore. That um, it started to wear on me that there's just, there are no rules. The Wild West transfer portal NIL stuff. The networks running it into the ground with the realignment in conferences, or in the case of the NCAA tournament, the potential of expansion and the little guy being left out if they break away from the NCAA. Guys, it got so bad yesterday, I actually tuned in for 45 minutes of a college hockey game. Uh, I'm actually going to tune in to Caitlin Clark versus Angel Reese tonight. That's my CTV. Well, I'm hoping somewhere like Kim Mulkey in a sequin blazer has like a chair like SummerSlam and goes right. after somebody. But I'm I'm making a point like I am my passion index for college athletics, which mm-hmm. I term as revenue sports. Yes. Please don't be calling up and selling me college hockey or baseball. It's just Sony, it is getting more difficult for me to be passionate. I mean, these games, the quality of the product. Now you and I talk pre show. Yes. Let's air it out so the listeners that we're not hiding anything. It hasn't, you you agree with me. It hasn't been very good. That as good as UConn is, it's really more about this sport blows. Correct. The quality of product. If I got to see another team go five for 35 from three, I'm going to lose my mind. And the free throw shooting for the most part has not been very good. I mean, the, the Purdue game, I mean, like we said, you know, they're good. You know, Edie's good. Laborious to watch. Connect was to me. If it wasn't for NC State and the, he's the story. Of the, he was the story of the tournament. He was so much fun to watch. Oh, DJ Burns? No, Connect too. Oh, I'm besides sorry. I thought Burns. you said NC State. No, I, I said besides for Burns. Connect was so much fun right. to watch. But the point is, whether it's look college basketball, their biggest issue. There's no stars. There's nobody anybody cares about. Half of America hates Zach Eady because watching him. I don't want to watch him shoot free throws. College football, you know how I feel. I think they're destroying rivalries. I think they're destroying the regulars. The greatest regular season in all of sports was college football. Mm -hmm. Now, it's nothing. It's government cheese NFL. Lose two, lose three. Hell, lose four if you got the right logo on your helmet. You're going to get in. I want to know where you guys are at as we now head towards the conclusion of what I am coining now for the second year in a row. It is a listless Final Four. That unless you went to one of these schools, I'm sorry, there is no juice. You could vaporize Saturday night to just give us Purdue-UConn, and I think all of America would just go, okay. Yeah. Two number one seeds. Let's see if Purdue can finally win. I get that. One of them's an 11.5 point favorite. The other's 9.5. Right. What is your passion quotient for college sports today versus five years ago? You want to put it on a scale of one to five? I'll tell you where I'm trending. I'm trending somewhere down to a two and a one and a half. I'm not that far d- down. I- I'm maybe trending a little bit, maybe t- from a five to a four. And a part of that is because when it comes to football, and I I know you hate this, but why? But because I went to a school that didn't have a football team, so I love the whole big house. I love that whole environment. That's fine. You know, so that is always going to be with them. I just wish you loved their basketball team. Stay away from mine. No, I no. don't want one of you oh, Michigan I, State I, this and Wolverine that. Never. Pick Please. a side. <laughs> the point is, fine. You still have a high, and I'm not telling people they're wrong if they love it. No, I know. I am. I am trying to just speak as a 43 year old man who college football and basketball were one and one a for me, and now they have fallen so far by the wayside, based upon what we've done to these games. Look, Stoney, I- I've never had an issue with any player in any sport making money. No. You are worth what someone will pay you. But I will tell you, when you start to dig into what some of these players are getting and they're not even that good, like there are rumors galore that this A.J. Store, the Wisconsin transfer, mm-hmm. is going to make a million dollars. million dollars. Who the hell are you? You're not DeMarcus Cousins. Do, do you th- do you think uh, Kansas has buyer's remorse on a million dollars for Hunter Dickinson? Sure they do. Yeah. Because they realized what a jerk he is. Yes, exactly. But my point to you is the 
played for three or four schools. It's year six. This kid, these these freshmen come in. They're nowhere near ready because Steph Curry's destroyed the sport of basketball because now every kid on every AAU team thinks they've got the green light from 28 feet. College football, you know where I stand on this. The portal stuff is outrageous. They've killed bowl season. Kids are transferring the day of their bowl game. Right. Well, I've well, seen well, it. Well, how about the portal? Brad Under was right. He's trying to prepare for a game against Connecticut while he has another assistant coach who's all he's worried about is the portal because the portal opens during the tournament. How ridiculous is that? That's the thing. There's no rules. Right. There's no guardrails on any of this. So I can't take it seriously. I just can't. I mean, last year I watched Kansas State make a run without a single player who ever signed the dotted line out of high school to be a Kansas State Wildcat. There's a connection with college athletics that I don't care if you went to the school or not. There was a level that these players made a conscious choice to spend four or five years of their life at the same place you care about. Right. That they walked the same hallways you walked, that went to class. I went to a Big Ten school. I didn't go to Yale. But there was an idea of, hey, I'm pretty sure Plaxico Burris just put my roommate in a wheelchair at I.M. West. It <laughs> happened. The point is, I mean, it, it was it was. I'd love to hear this story. Sad scene. The point is, I want to know where. That pals to me doing bong hits with Boo Bowers. Yeah, oh, we got Boo Bowers. <laughs> I got a Plaxico Burris windmill sending a poor 5'11 kid to a hospital. The, but I want to know where you're at with it. And if you are every bit as passionate, tell me why. But if you are not, if it is starting to slide, if the things you don't like outweigh what you do, or the or if you're like me, I have to be honest, I have more interest tonight watching Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese and maybe Kim Mulkey getting into a fight than I did Duke NC State yesterday. I'm admitting this to you, my audience. Uh, I, don't, I think you're part of America. I think all the mud tonight is must see TV. And by the way, I don't have the exact numbers. What? But I know Angel Reese is a portal person. She started at the Maryland. University of Maryland. Yeah, she's and a I, Baltimore kid, right. right? Yeah, LSU, a lot of their players. But are if you poor. transfer once, I, I can live right, with it. I know. But this every I know, year. I get it. Come on. You're so right. You want to be an adult? You yes. want to make adult money? Then live by adult rules. Look at the kid who started in Michigan. What, Frankie Collins? He transferred to Arizona State. Now he's in the portal again. Sure he is. Look at Horn, the the the, the scoring guard for NC he's State. DJ Horn. I think he started out in the JUCO, then over to Illinois State, then to Arizona State, back to NC State. <laughs> DJ Burns didn't start at NC no. State. He started, I think, Winthrop. I think their whole starting five is transfers. I don't have to embrace that. No, I, I get College it. football, it's the same thing. How, what are we doing here where coaches now, fans, by the way, fans having to pay for all this also is gross to me. Yeah, oh yeah, the, the fundraising. So coaches now have to prepare for a bowl, retain their current roster, pill for other people's rosters, and recruit high school. In real time. Right. Like, I can't take it serious. You're better off just recruit, not even recruiting high school anymore. Well, that's Deion Sanders. He's yes. basically just said, I'm done with it. Yeah, him. he just hired Warren Sapp to be a, a defensive analyst. I, I would like to know where you're at. Because March Madness for a long time has been my favorite event. It was it's, the greatest. The Final Four, because... It's, but it's not anymore. Uh, Mike, it's okay to I say know, it. I know. You're not saying it's bad. No, it's but not as good. But you're saying it's lesser than. Oh, yes. And college football, I stand by it. The expanded playoff was the month of November. That's all gone now. Michigan and Ohio State means nothing because the loser will still get in as long as you don't have four losses going in. Correct. It means nothing. I, my my if 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 I was a five, I'm down at about a two right now. And I'm honest, I, I can't lie to my audience. But, I find but, the whole thing nonsense. Well, when the game is being play, actually being played, and you will bring up college football, and the Spartans are playing whoever, you're, aren't you not going to be just as into it as you were before? Mike, I, no? tur I turned the games off uh, this past year. Well, that's because they blow. Okay, but fine. But, but if but the quotient, say, but hold on. Now, now you're making a point for me now. Point for Mikey. If your team's got to be awesome for you to care, you don't love the game. I don't. I used to love the game. Right. 
Now, I before you before you moved here, were you NFL one or college one? Buddy, I was sick. I was everything one. Yeah, well, I was too. I was everything one. But no, yes. I, I loved I loved college yeah, football. Yeah, so did I. But I, I thought I, but, college but football. But I liked it. But, but actually, Wojo convinced me. I was NFL one, and then it got to the point where, you know, probably around, because of living around here with yeah. the Lions, and here where Michigan State and Michigan meant something every week to a certain extent, I got I got sucked yeah, into just, it. Yeah, I think a lot of the magic's gone. I think a lot of the stuff that I cared about is gone. I don't have to go along with it. I still love sports, and I still, I mean, the NFL's the NFL, but a college basketball, like this college basketball season, I watch more college ball. I double, I triple, I quadruple down on college ball this year. Right. I really wanted to get more involved, and especially on the betting angle for the podcast. Right. But it was the idea of, hey, force feed it. Really try to be back into this the way you were four or five years ago pre-COVID. Stoney, the quality's awful. And then the tournament came around, and I'm watching these games. And I'm not watching out of passion. No, I know. It's almost like I'm spite-watching it. Well, well, we said during the season, the college basketball, even more so than the NBA, became unwatchable. It, I, it really did, because the quality, everybody says, well, yep. the NBA's not as good because they don't care. Okay, fine, as regular season goes. But at least it was, a high, for the most part, except in this town, a high level of play.